Hi guys and welcome to part 21 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On this part we are going to add a shopping cart model to our project. For that let us go inside the data folder and on the models folder we right click and create a new class. We name this class shopping cart item. Let us add to this class the necessary properties. This class is going to have an identifier which is going to be of type int. So I write shopping cart item id. We are going to use this card to store the references of the drink. So for that we need to create a new property with a drink on it and we name it drink. For each drink we are going to buy different amount from it. So the next property is going to be the in property and we name it amount. We are here creating the shopping cart item. So every shopping cart item is going to belong to a shopping cart. For this we need to declare another property which we are going to use it later. And I'm going to name it shopping cart ID. Next, we need to go to application DB context and add here an additional DB set property for the shopping cart item. And we are going to name it shopping cart items. We now build the application. And since we have made changes in the application DB context file, we always need to reflect them to our database. And we always do that by first creating a migration and later calling the update database command. So let's open package manager console and here we add a new migration and we name it cart item. After the migration has been created we execute the command update database. Until now we have created only the shopping cart item. Let us now create the shopping cart itself which will contain multiple items. For that we go to the models folder and inside this folder we add another class which we name shopping cart. We add the first two properties for this. First one is going to be an identifier which is type of string. So I write shopping cart ID. And the next one as we have already mentioned is going to be a list of shopping cart items. So I write shopping cart item. And we name this property shopping cart items that is all for this part and on the next part we are going to add all the methods that the shopping cart model is going to provide thank you for watching and see you on the next part